Right. Okay, so we are here with our pet expert, Greg Riley, mm -hmm. and his dog, Kelly. Right. And we want to talk about something that's been a big topic in the news uh, this past week, pet obesity. And a lot right. of it stemmed from, um, I don't know if you watched the Super Bowl, but that commercial with right. the dog who couldn't fit through the doggy door. Right. And right. <laughs> he kind of worked out and, and finally was, was able to... Uh, chase get, a car. Chase a car, which... That's probably not the best. You no. saw that commercial from a different perspective. We were kind of talking about this earlier in the week. Right. We were kind of joking around about it earlier in the week. And I mean, you know, when I first watched it, it's a great commercial. Right. You know, it's very funny. Yeah. But, you know, if you kind of watch it again and again, you kind of think, what a horrible commercial this thing is. I mean, whoever wrote this has got to be the biggest hopping jack in Albany country. Yeah. If you, if you do a quick recap, you've got a big, fat, lazy St. Bernard, which is, is clearly on the owner's right. part why this dog is obese, suddenly gets the urge to go chase a car. Can't fit out through a door, right? Right. So the dog suddenly takes upon himself to get in shape, listening to James Brown. He's yeah. pulling the rug with weights on. He's um, <clears throat> somehow has the discipline not to eat table scraps that are being dropped all over the floor, you know, from obviously a fifth grader right, who's trying to right, cook in the kitchen, right. right? Suddenly, you know, he goes into an in-ground pool, shakes himself off, and now suddenly, magically, he's able to run around the neighborhood chasing a car. Not good. Not good, much to the chagrin of the neighbors and probably the driver of the car. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Horrible commercial. Horrible. From <laughs> a really. standpoint, it's a horrible It's a commercial. horrible commercial. Well, I, I have a question because, um, you know, dogs can sometimes get, you know, overweight, I suppose. Right. And uh, does it matter what you feed them? Because you go to the store and there are all these different kinds of foods and mm -hmm. things like that. Mm -hmm. Does it matter what you feed the dog that uh, adds to that obesity? Certainly. I mean, there's definitely a lot of products. Um, the biggest thing would be like, say, fillers. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, and the biggest thing is going to be like, say, corn and oats. So if you really look at your <clears throat> dog foods right in the beginning, if you, the first ingredient that you see is corn, it's going to be a filler, which will quickly become a carbohydrate, which will eventually will break down into a sugar, leads to obesity. Now, Callie, she doesn't get any table food or anything like that. But she's a beagle. They're prone to being overweight. And out of all my dogs, I've got six of them, she's the one that doesn't play. She would prefer to sleep on the couch, just like the St. Bernard, and hang out and, you know, basically shuffle underneath mom and dad's feet in the kitchen and pick up whatever falls on the floor. Yeah. And so um, we were kind of talking about earlier, too, how can you tell, I mean, if, if your dog is gaining a few pounds? Really simple. I mean, if you take a look at Callie, if you just take your hands, mm -hmm. okay, and you move them back and forth along their chest. Now, I could feel her ribs right. pretty well. Um, so with her, you know, I would say she's stocky. Okay? Right. But if I were able to do that, and if I can't feel her ribs, then you know. Then you kind of know. Or if her body proportion, where her neck is a lot wider right. than her head, so she kind of looks like a blown up tick. Right. Chances <laughs> are you're going to have a fat dog. Well, and a lot of it too is, I know from my parents' dog, they took him to the vet recently, and he's a little overweight, and mm -hmm. pretty much mom and I say that's because dad feeds him too many treats. Too many treats, yeah, which can lead to a lot of problems. I mean, certainly you got your muscle skeletal problems. Mm -hmm. You could have diabetes. You could certainly have skin problems. So those are some of the things that you need to keep in mind when you do feed your dog table food. So, okay, we know if you say, hey, my dog's overweight, you can obviously do the food thing. Right. But can you exercise, I mean, do the exercise thing with them, like people? Really simple. I mean, you can certainly go out for a nice walk. Uh, you don't really have to do, like, say, a five-mile run or right, anything like right. that. With cats, a simple laser toy will oh, make okay. them chase. That will help, too. Okay, wonderful. Very yeah. interesting. Thank mm -hmm. you so much, Greg. You. And Kelly, your sweetheart. Well, as we take you to break, here's another look at how you can reach Greg Riley if you have any questions. Also, check him out on his Facebook page. Lots of stuff there, too. You're watching News 10 this morning. We'll be right back.